Hello everyone and welcome back to Nishma Serial Lounge. In today's session, we will discuss another method of estimating working capital, which is percentage of sales method. This method is indeed the simplest way of estimating working capital. So, as for this method, it says that when the sales increase, it will lead to the increase in the current asset as well as in the current liabilities. If the uh, sale is increasing by 25%, that will result in the current asset increasing by 25% as well as uh, the current liabilities will also increase by 25%. Simple as that. This is only the calculation you have to do. You have to first of all estimate the percentage change that has been brought in sales and then with that uh, percentage, you have to find out the current asset as well as current, uh, current liability individually. Here I have told you in my example, if the sale has increased by 25%, then you have to take each item of current asset and then you have to find the 25% of that and then you have to add it up. Simple. Simple as that. Then the all uh, procedure repeats. You have to find out the total of current asset, then you have to deduct total of current liabilities from current asset in order to get the uh, required working capital amount that is it so let us quickly go on to a problem this is a question the following information is provided by a company on 31 12 2021 liabilities equity share capital eight percent debentures reserves and surplus long-term loans creditors and the total is 4 lakh 80 thousand Moving over to the asset side, you have the net fixed asset 3 lakh, inventory is 1 lakh, debtors 70,000, cash 10,000 and there also you get a total of 4 lakh 80,000. Then uh, addition, uh, sorry, sales for uh, the year ended 31-12-2021 was 10 lakhs and it is estimated that the sales will be increased to rupees 12 lakh in 2022. Estimate working capital requirements assuming linear relationship between sales and working capital. Alright, so you have you are asked to assume that there is a linear relationship between sales and working capital and you are provided with a balance sheet of the previous year. Alright, so you and you are asked to attempt an estimate of working capital. So I told you this is a um, question with relation to percentage of sales method. You have to find out working capital as per percentage of sales method. So the first step is to identify the increase in the sales amount. Alright, so in the previous year it was 10 lakh and now it has increased to 12 lakh. So what will be the percentage change? How we will find that? It is given by difference. Difference that is uh, what is the difference between 2 lakh and 10 lakh? It is 2 lakh. First you have to write the difference. Alright. So it is the difference divided by base year profit. Base year profit into 100. This is how we will calculate the percentage change in sales. So here what is the difference? 2 lakh. So that means uh, 2 lakh divided by what is the base year's sales? It is 10 lakh. So divided by 10 lakh into 100. So uh, you will get uh, 20%, right? It is 20%. So that is. 20% there is 20% increase in the current year's sale. So you know that the sales have been increased by 20% in the current year. Now you have to do is uh, the, or you have to find 20% of each of the current asset and uh, each of the current liabilities. Then you have to just uh, subtract the total of current liabilities from the current asset. Now let us uh, go on to the detailed solution. So in the previous balance sheet, we were given the following current assets and current liabilities. Current assets uh, include inventories, debtors and cash and current liabilities, there, were only, uh, there was only one current liability which was creditors. So uh, the inventories uh, in the previous balance sheet, it was uh, 1 lakh. Here I have provided 3 amount column. 
uh, this is for the previous year that is 2021 and uh, one column for increase that is uh, to show the 20% increase in each of these items individually so that I have provided a column then the final column is the current year's amount column that is 2022 amount column and this is where we will get the estimate of working capital required all right so inventories it was given in the previous balance sheet as one lakh then uh, you have to calculate 20 percentage of one lakh and you will get 20,000 rupees now uh, that amount you have to add it with the previous amount so you have to add one lakh plus 20,000 then you will get one lakh 20,000 which is your current year's inventory value then we have debtors debtors in the previous balance sheet it was 70,000 and here also uh, you have to add the 20 percentage so uh, 70,000 into 20 percentage so that will give you 14,000 then you have to add this 14,000 to us with uh, 70,000 then you will get uh, 84,000 for the current year then we have the cash cash it was 10,000 10, in the previous year and you have to find the 20 percentage of that then you will get 2,000 rupees and then you have to add these up then you will get 12,000 rupees so that is the uh, total of current asset then you have add it up 120 plus 84,000 plus uh, 12,000 uh, will give you a total of 216,000 for your current asset then coming over to current liabilities we only have one current liability which is your creditor and creditors amounted to 80,000 in the previous year then I have to find 20% uh, of that which is 16,000 and uh, for the current year you will get a total of 96,000 which is a total of 80,000 plus 16,000 then you have to deduct uh, the uh, current liability from the amount of total of uh, current asset and uh, in the previous year you will get uh, 1 lakh 80,000 minus 80,000 that will give you 1 lakh and uh, in the increase column that shows uh, how much your uh, working capital has increased or how much you have to increase your working capital okay that is the uh, amount uh, that will show that will be given in the increase column so uh, it amount to 20,000 that means your working capital needs to be increased by 20,000 then we have the um, current year's amount column here also we will get a total of 1 lakh 20 that is by deducting 96,000 from 2 lakh 16,000 and if you add uh, these two columns also you will get 1 lakh 20,000 so this is a simple problem and this is how you will uh, estimate working capital on a percentage of sales basis i hope this problem is clear to you uh, if you like this video please like and share it to the beneficiaries and do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you